Hey guys. Hey, it's Matt. Kate. And we are doing a mail call. <laughs> we officially have a uh, post office bot or a bail person that hates us because um, we've been getting a lot of packages and I've been super busy lately and haven't been picking them up and Kate's been running and picking them up and he knows who we are now. <laughs> we don't even have to say anything. We walk in and he's just like, here we go. PO Box 6, here you go. So this is like, this is a few weeks. This might even be a month's worth of packages. We've been just kind of setting them aside. Uh, I've been trying to get some stuff done in the shop. The shop is clean. Somewhat. Pretty clean, actually, which is really crazy. We got rid of the roadster on the table uh, that was doing those little rust repair videos. The right table. Here. Oh, yeah, the table's right <laughs> here. And uh, so, yeah, that freed up some space. We got the Chevys pretty much ready to go. So we have some more space, and we're going to do our mail call here today. So we're going to go through all these packages. Uh, we may speed up some of the sections. If you have sent us a package, uh, we may speed some of it. We're not, we may not read the whole entire like letter when it gets edited, so I apologize. But we're going to try and keep this fun as we always do and uh, see what we find. I'm going to put some stuff aside. And what we're going to be doing is the end of August, we're going to be doing a giveaway with all the excess stuff that we got. I'm only keeping a couple of things like shop supplies, if it's some parts I can use on my projects. But a lot of the really neat stuff people have been sending has been piling up. And we're going to do a giveaway much like we do in Christmas, but we're going to do a, actually, you know, we should do it end of July. Christmas in July. Yeah. Yeah, I was just that. thinking that. So end of July, we're going to pick somebody. If you're watching this video, drop a comment down below. And in the end of July, we're going to pick somebody. I just made this up as I'm going. Uh, end of July, <laughs> we're going to pick somebody and announce a winner. If you drop a comment in this video with your favorite thing uh, or favorite part of the video, we're going to pick um, probably two people we're going to do it. We'll split it into two packages and we're going to send you all the neat stuff and you can get a, a surprise package that you can open and get neat stuff from us. So let's get started. So we're going to start, we're going to actually use this little fancy Eastwood cart. We're getting a little more, um, a little more professional here. So what's that, who's that one from? This is from Charles P in Geneseo, Kansas. I, I think hope, I know who that is. I hope I said that correctly. Yeah, he's, he actually, I think this is a part for the uh, 34. Yes. So these are, uh, this is a little wiring tube. Did you put a name in there? No, no. Cool. I know you'll make something work with these, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Chuck pulled these off of like, uh, I want to say like later 50s Fords, and these go on the steering column and run the wiring down through makes it a little more finished and it's got a little clip here. So you saw the way I was kind of taping the wiring to the steering uh, column on the 34 and he said, oh, I got a bunch of these cars laying around. They have this factory Ford part that's pretty, pretty cool for what you're doing. So now that I got these little pieces, it's kind of neat reusing some old Ford pieces. So I'm going to make these work on the column to route some of the wiring down it. I just mounted the tack up so that wiring can also fit in here. So thank you for that. Really appreciate it. It's going to go right onto the project here in the next couple days. Next one. Next comes from Tom K. from Renton, Washington. Oh, I was just there. Yep, Matt just came back, so let's see what we got. Oh. Oh, wow. That's pretty neat. I like books. He does yeah. like books. Blown flathead. I've never seen this one, actually. How to build a supercharged flathead forward for the street. And there is a new. I've had this book for a long time, but never got to build a blown flathead. Maybe you can use it. If not, pass it along. I love your show and look forward to watching it. Thank you from an over the hill hot rodder, Tom <laughs> K. All right, so thank you for that. I appreciate it. Hopefully uh, I'm gonna get to use that book and put some of the information uh, to use really soon. Uh, and we'll be getting you a sticker pack back out as a thank you, so appreciate it. All right. Next one I pre-opened because I've been having difficulties. This is from Robert V, and he's from Toronto. Oh, <gasps> Kate's happy. Oh, wait. wait. It's empty bag. <laughs> that was a good trick. <laughs> oh, it, it was a th bag of three little bags. Oh, okay. Kate just got really excited <laughs> and bummed in the same time. She's like, wait, they scammed us. <laughs> I'm so excited for these. All right, let's see. Just a few I thought you would enjoy. Canadian cheesies for me because they make great pack, um, packing protection. <laughs> yep. Oh, and he fit the third into his stomach. So, yes. You, that's okay. That's fine. The small box contains some beer cans from Canada. I work at Molson. He worked at Molson Breweries for 20 oh, wow. years. Maybe you can swap them for some ham stuff. 
The patches are NOS employee uniform patches from the brewery, and it's been closed for 30 years. Wow, that's and cool. And he knows that you are an old school guy, but for fun, he had a miniature iron trap flathead cylinder head 3D printed in steel, and 3D he 3D printed a stand. It's actually really awesome. So these are for Mike. This is awesome. So 3D printed. Yes. Oh, is it like a business card holder? Oh, killer. Oh, wow. This is actually metal. Yeah. 3D printed metal? Look, it's even, it's so like correct. Oh my God. These are cool. These would be great keychains. They would actually be really great keychains. We're gonna have to hit you up because we've been talking about making keychains and this is like phenomenal. So, uh, how killer is that? It's, I guess it's, I don't know if it's copper or bronze or sintered bronze or something like that. Super cool. So yeah, we may hit you up. We're gonna have to save your information, see where or who did that for you. Maybe there's something we can offer. If anybody be interested in one of these, let me know. I know I'm probably gonna turn this into a keychain. And this is like a little business card holder. Super cool. That's so awesome. How awesome is that? I, I'm like amazed at the 3D printing stuff people are doing now. It's totally foreign to me, but really, really cool. So that is awesome. I'm gonna use that as a business card holder uh, at shows, so thank you. This is from Brown, last name Brown, and uh, I think it's Wolfboro, New, New Hampshire. Hampshire, I think, unless that's an I, I'm not sure, but that's what we're saying, you, you guys usually correct me. Ooh, what's this? I think that's a flashlight for digging. How's wow. That? Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. You can clip it on stuff. Oh, it goes on the brim of your hat. Oh my God. What do they say? This is killer. You'll find enclosed a ball cap flashlight. I find it very handy. I don't have it. Frees up both hands for digging. Yeah. And just an FYI about the ball cap attachment light. Attach the light to a ball cap that you're not going to take it off. So that'll be your picking hat. Oh, okay. That way you don't break it taking it on and off. You will damage the actual cap. <laughs> Oh, okay. So don't worry. Because it grabs it. Yeah, yeah he yeah. doesn't want you to ruin a good one. So it is for your archive digs. <laughs> yes. I just could have used this. I was using a, I had a GoPro hooked to my head, but it would have been nice to have a light to free it up. So this is really cool. So this is made by Prime Light. Me, I haven't seen one of these. Good picking light. I actually love these bars. So no, I will not turn my nose up to these because these are actually my favorite snack. Oats and honey, these yeah. are delicious. They are delicious, even though they turn to crumbs, but it's okay. They're still yeah. so delicious. I love them. They're such a great snack. We love them. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. We're gonna we'll send you a sticker pack back out. I'm gonna try this light out. Like I said, if anybody's interested in one of these, uh, I'll definitely start using it, but it's Prime Light, L-I-T-E is who made it. So I'm gonna give it a try and probably see in some future picking videos when I uh, put it on my cap. So I got a real dirty cap I've been using to pick in, so I'll, we'll convert it over to that. <laughs> All right, next one is from Steve S. from Aloha, Oregon. I mean, I was just in Pacific Northwest. It, oh, there's another one. Oh boy. Yeah, just oh. It. What is that? I see fur. Hold I see on. fur too. Hold on, show the camera. <laughs> <laughs> There's some kind of weird furry fur. animal. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but yeah, it's hard to see. Okay. Oh, 76 ball for antenna. I'm excited. Lots of neat stuff. What? what is that? That looks like it was like for like the antenna. Oh, is that what this is? Remember we? What yeah. car? What car was that? Yep. We didn't oh, find wow. our note yet, but yeah, <laughs> we we found your um your pet Brickling squirrel. Clips. More Amazing. books. Wow. Oh my God. We got a lot in this. We're gonna have to show you guys. We're gonna have to lay this all out for yeah. everybody because this is crazy. Petal. 61 Hot Rod Annual. I gotta check and see if I have that one. If I do, I will keep it. If not, we'll pass it on. How to build and race hot rods. Super cool. It just Look keeps coming. He packed a lot in that box. Red fuel line. Yep, good stuff. 516. Oh, here it is. We opened the wrong side. Whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> Got all the goodies out first. Found some stuff I will never need or use. I quit building cars. 
Um, the gauges are not the best, but you may find a use for them. The tune-up guide is for Andrew if he shows up again. <laughs> I thought you might enjoy the Felsen books. I don't know if you've ever read them. I'm a lot older than you. Sorry we can't connect on your July Oregon trip, and I hope it will be very successful. Take care and be well. Steve S. P.S. Sorry about the darn peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve. I'm going to be making another trip. Uh, I don't know if this video is going to, when this video is coming out, but I had a really successful trip. I had a ton of time. A lot of people I had to skip over. Oh, funny story. Mike dropped one of mine the other day, <gasps> last week, and broke a 39 lens, being a jerk. So you saved his butt because he was going to have to buy me one. Sort of, not really. Um, that's awesome. We'll be sending something your way, and next time I got to try and get together. Might just do a little like day get together in Oregon or something next time we come out because we had a bunch of people that wanted to come and hang out. So Where's a good place to have a hangout? Yeah, a good location. So uh, cool. Thank you so much and uh, move on to the next one. All right, found the perfect use already for the 76 ball, the golf ball. Put it right on the 39. It's got a little 50s antenna that was added. It's got carefully Usually once they go on, that's it. There we go. All right, next, next one. Up. Hard act to follow. That box was, that was crazy cool. David S. Oh, this is actually to Moon. This what? isn't to us. Oh, what? We got to go get Moon. Yeah, we'll be Hold back. On. Hey, Moon. Moon, you got to come. There's... there's a package. Oh, okay. There's a package for you. Come on, buddy. What's here? What is it? You got mail? Yeah, you got mail. Come on, down to the shop. I swear it's not a bark box. Down to the shop, down to the shop. In the shop, let's go. You got a package. Look, what's this? You got a box. <gasps> what does it smell Mom's like? I gonna open it. Stay here, here. buddy. <laughs> What'd you get? Yeah. Is that a box for you? Oh. He's psyched. I know. We're excited. <laughs> what is it, Moon? Hey, over here. Duck jerky. Whoa. Whoa. Mega bone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got more treats. <gasps> you got a new rug. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Whoa. Hey, stay here. Hey, you got more. Come here. Now that's Bye. everything. You got psyched. Wow. You're so come here, Moon. <laughs> Moon, look. Come here. Moon has made his uh, his exit, and he is eating his deliciousness. But we will be giving these to him. Thank you so much. Moon, thanks you. And we're going to add it to his snack pile because yeah, he's got a big one. He's got a big snack pile. So thank you. We'll send you, uh, send you a care package. This is from Piazza in Vernon, California. All right. Uh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Howdy boys. First, love your video. Second, these hubcaps came in a box of parts that a friend bought for his 37 Studebaker project. Obviously, these are not for a 37 Studebaker. He gifted them to me so I could specifically pass them along to you. They're not great, but they are old and they uh, very least would look at home on one of your walls or in a box in your storage area. Feel free to pass them along as you see fit. Keep up the great work. Chris Piazza. As I was wrapping up this box, I found an old photo of my 37 Studebaker Coupe Express. Sold it about 10 years ago. Don't regret doing so. Very small inside. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Man, you really don't see these very often. Okay. Which one next? The one you've been wanting to open. Yeah. Kate, I was, I was away in, in uh, Oregon traveling, and Kate's like, went to get the mail, and she's like, we got a package that says something about oddities on it. I wonder what it is. And she wanted to open it so bad and I wouldn't let her. So this is from Creative Oddities in Whitehall, Maryland. Um, now there's something that says Manx on the side of it. So we've been kind of discussing what it could be. Creative Oddities. Oh. Wow. Nice. Wow. Not what I was expecting with oddities. <laughs> but these are amazing. And, oh, here we go. So I've been watching your channel for a while now. I don't miss any of them. Enjoy you keeping it real and have words of skills watching you. I have one, 
I hope one day to come up and hang out, but I'm sure I'll see you at some shows when they happen again. And clothes are some goodies you may enjoy. I'm an artist, creative oddities. I do hot rod art, as you will see. And he also did it on the box yeah, here, if we that, can get it to. It's awesome. There it is. I do hot rod art, as you will see. There's some prints, stickers, and an issue of the new cartoons magazine. I did the cover of this one and also create, a, create the strip nuts and bolts. You can keep it or give it away. I'm cool with either. Keep up the awesome work. Neat. Yes. So we're going to definitely be giving some of these uh, stickers and stuff away for the, uh, for the care package we're putting together. But I'm definitely going to be keeping... Oh, these are really cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These ones are awesome. So I'm going to keep one of the... I'm going to keep the big one. Sorry, guys. We're going to send you guys the small ones. Oh, no. He's also named Mike. He's also named Mike. Oh, it is Mike. I, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. We can't... We both can't read. <laughs> Um, oh, and he's got a creative out of these here. Oh, man. So, yeah, we're going to keep some of this. I'm going to read through the, read through that issue myself, and then I'm probably going to pass it on so somebody else can read it um, and enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep the T-shirt for myself because it's really awesome. Actually, did we pull it out? It looks awesome. I took a sneak peek. 32 Ford. Oh, wow. Killer. Love it. All right, so this is from Steve H. in uh, Watertown, Wisconsin. Hopefully there's cheese in here. Ooh, we do love cheese, fun fact. Don't send us cheese because it'll sit at the post office box and, and stink up the whole place. Yeah, please don't send us cheese. Hey, Matt and Mike, I put magnets on all my tapes and markers. I leave one of each on all the machines around the shop. I figured you would also find them handy. Keep up the great work, Steve H. Oh, wow. Well, that I, guy. I could also use these in the house because he's always taking our tape measures and then I can't find them. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you some of the other ones. These are, these are good. I'm totally, oh my God. There's a lot. Oh, look, your favorite markers. Oh, he put little magnets on them. <gasps> Did he? Yeah, look at the tops. What? This is great. And Heck it's yeah. how perfect that, that this table is metal. Yeah. Boom. All right. So we're about to go put magnet, magnetized tape measures in all my stuff. Oh, also got some stickers. That guy fabrication. So that guy fabrication. Thank you for sending that, Steve. And he uh, is, again, water, located in Watertown, Wisconsin. And uh, looks like he does a little bit of everything. Hydrographics, pewter casting, chassis work, industrial furniture. Um, stop in, chill out, kick back. He's got you covered. Sounds like our kind of shop. I know. Guaranteed I'll still find these in the washing machine. <laughs> Stuck to the side, magnetized? Yeah, because he forgets Great. and I forget to check. Take this one. Oh, this feels like magazines. This is from Pat W. in Owasso, Michigan. Owasso, Michigan. Oh yeah. Oh, I can smell them already. Oh yeah, it smells like a mix of mustiness, cigarette smoke, and old paper. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Dear Matt and Mike, I'm sending you these magazines seeing I can't find no one interested in them. I know you, I know how Matt ooh and ah is over Hot Rod magazines, but seeing you, you're keeping Hot Rodding alive, I thought you showed a lot of what Hot Rodding stuff looked like in the 60s mostly in car shows and such. Hope you guys enjoy them, Pat. P.S. The Forgotten Hot Rod looks badass. Uh, Cal Custom 1970s dimmer switch foot for the Forgotten Hot Rod or the 34. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. We'll totally put this on the, on the Forgotten Hot Rod. It's gonna go a little on, right on the little button. That's awesome, I love that. It fits it perfectly. All right, so thank you, Pat. We really appreciate it. We're gonna send a care package of stickers out your way as a thank you. And of course, we'll be dropping some of the magazines uh, that I don't have in the collection, myself or Mike. And uh, we'll be uh, sending that out in the care package that we're gonna be doing in a giveaway uh, Christmas in July at the end of the month. Thanks. All right, next one from Robert W. in Pangburn, Arkansas. Pangburn. Pangburn. Arkansas. This gonna... well, holy oh! Sh oh my God. He's in heaven. He has died. Seriously. Old magazine, little book, heaven. 
Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, Mike, Matt, and Andrew, I love your show during during the coronavirus. I have reread some of my collection and it's time to pass them on. Enjoy. Be careful. Some are in bad shape, older than you. Oh my God. All right. Definitely going to be going through these and holding on to some, but I have a pretty good collection myself. So that, this is incredible. You're definitely getting more than stickers. Send you uh, shirts and all kinds of stuff, hat, whatever. That's um, why it was so heavy. I know. I couldn't believe it. Oh, my God. Look at all so these. There were car parts look, he's got there. doubles. Goldenrod. So the Goldenrod actually lives right across town. Uh, Three Dog Garage is a uh, private collection museum here in my town. And I get to visit this car. And it's one of my favorite old hot rods, the Goldenrod. So that's super cool. Definitely don't have that one. And there's two of them. So we're going to go through these, uh, pick out the ones that I, I, I have, do not have. And we're going to put together a package. So part of the giveaway we're doing in July that we're going to be giving back some of the stuff that we're giving, you guys are going to be getting little books. It's going to be awesome. So I'm so excited to go through all this. I can't even like. He's, he could die now and he'd be happy. Oh, my God. Well, now I know what I'm doing every single night while we're watching TV. Before I fall asleep, that, sh that small little 30-minute window. <laughs> I'll be reading little books. Oh, my God. All right, time for the tube. Woo. I'm not going to hit you with it. <laughs> this is from Tom St. Martin uh, from Brooklyn, Minnesota. And he sent us this tube that we've been wondering what's going on in here. You got little, little hands. Oh, it's laminated. What? Just make sure. Oh, my God. <gasps> You're going to lose it. Oh, no. Huh. I'm going to lose this. All right, so we got one of Pump these. For a 1932 it's diagram Ford frame. So there it is in life size version. That's the, the whole not life size. I know. <laughs> Almost life size. Uh, partial bottom view, side view, top view. This is awesome with all the measurements. Killer. So I am definitely going to be needing this because, as you guys know, I have two perfectly shitty old 32 Fords and uh, I need to bring them back to life and I will definitely be needing these. So uh, we got some uh, some prints from that were older from somebody in one of the last mail calls. So I'm probably gonna be, I think there was like three of them. So I'm gonna be actually throwing some of those. They were already in the pile. I think I had one set aside to, to frame in my office. Uh, but this one will stay out here in the shop because it's laminated and won't get dirty. That's probably what he's saying. He actually is. He said now that his 32 Ford is pretty much done, he doesn't need it anymore. And with your growing 32 Ford collection, I thought you could better use this since your chassis seem to be missing iron. <laughs> Encloses the photos of my 32 Phaeton. It has wow. changed somewhat since this was taken. The headlights are changed and the interior is finished. Rolled and pleated red leather. Heck yeah. I have more stuff for you, but the plan was to bring it to Hershey and save the stamps and or shipping. This seems to be the easiest thing to start off with. Tom. Thank you, oh, Tom. Says, Flatheads forever. Yes. Thank you, Tom. That's awesome. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of bummed that Hershey isn't this year because we had a ton of fun stuff planned to have at our booth. So next year, it's going to be awesome. We're going to set up a bunch of really fun stuff at our booth, maybe bring a car out or something. But uh, that can wait. I'd rather get parts and talk face to face. It's much more fun. So thank you for this. Appreciate it. And thank you for the picture of your car. I'm actually uh, hanging up on the shop door with all the stickers and stuff that we have as a memento. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, we got six more, <laughs> believe it or not. This is the biggest one yet. This comes from Rich K in Milford, PA. Oh, he could have driven it down here. Aha, uh -huh. all right. Let's see, we got, that's an old box. We got a lot of boxes. Quick steer. Hi guys, more stuff. Another <laughs> gauge to add to your collection or use. Ford tie rod adjusters, 72, I believe. One was tried out, but the uh, that idea didn't work. Other is new. Studebaker Repro teardrop tail lights, 37 to 40. He's questioning. These were used on Ford's 38 to 40 customs. Could work on a sedan. As I remember, these were made by Gene Winfield since the real tail lights were so scarce. Yeah. I hate you guys. I hate you guys. I thought my street ride love affair was over, and then I ran across your YouTube page. <laughs> now I'm star staring at photos of my 39 Ford Coupe, which I sold off 18 years ago. Wow. Hey, there's no better time than to get back into it. 
Awesome. Yeah, I think Gene was laying up a bunch of, uh... oh God. Hopefully that was fiberglass. Acrylic. Acrylic. Oh, these are killer. So yeah, these are reproductions. I know Gene was doing some bunch of stuff, even like big pieces of mercury bodies, maybe even a whole mercury body at one point. But he was doing the fiberglass and acrylic thing. So those are really cool. I'm gonna test fit them on some stuff I have, some fenders I have and see if we can use them. And uh, yeah, these are really cool. Thank you. And make sure you come visit because you're too close to, uh, to not come visit. Next up, this one's a light one. This is No Name from Vernon Hills, Florida. Hmm. Oh, it's a drawing or a print. You know, it's a drawing. Dear Matt, I hope you enjoy this quick sketch of your free tea standing in front of the pagoda. Big fan of your channel, and I can't wait to see more on the Sweetheart Roadster, which is basically my dream car. I prefer 28 to 29 body. If you're ever in need of a painting or render, let me know. You can see some of my other work on Instagram at Nino underscore Ambro. Awesome. Thanks for the great channel and all the tips and tricks. As a 26 year old, I'm glad it's so easy to learn about these old hot rods. Sincerely, Nino A. Awesome, thank you so much for that. That's really, really cool. So make sure you guys check him out on Instagram. If you want a drawing done, you can obviously get that done from him. And we're gonna put this aside and find a wall to hang it on. Thank you, I really appreciate that. That's awesome, really cool sketch. All right. Next. Oh, this one, I kind of know what this is already, but we gotta be careful with this. It already yeah. says to cut in the back. Cut along here. So this is from a Glenn Wright. Uh, Nickerson, I think it's I think his first name is Glenn. I might be wrong. Uh, Rochester, New Hampshire. So we'll cut along. Dear Matt and Mike, just wanted to say thanks for a great YouTube channel and the instructive or destructive material that you post every mm -hmm. week. There is always something of interest and practical value for all. As to our recent conversations back and forth, Matt, please find and close the paint I promised for the 34. I was not sure what areas you were going to paint, so I made a spray can of enamel. That I would that I would use for the interior door jams or engine area and a base oh, coat awesome. for doing blend work on the exterior while for hiding a repair may be more detailed. Awesome. The problem with the color, Chevrolet has had three reds on Corvette in the early to mid 60s. The guess was it was 65 Corvette red, code UU, so I made rally red and hope it will be a suitable match. The touch up bottle contains enamel, so it will work well doing the chips on the body. Also find, <clears throat> find enclosed a pair of t-shirts. I hope you will enjoy for the, the both of you. The plan was to give them to you at Viva East, but your arm had other ideas. We were actually just talking about that. <laughs> Yeah. And I think you made the right decision in that regard. Many thanks for a down-to-earth informative channel. Don't let the stardom and the bright lights of you being a YouTube sensation change you. <laughs> and you're right, Glenn. Yeah, so Glenn hit me up and said he had a, I guess he has a paint shop, or, or I guess this is his uh, auto parts store. And uh, he said he could mix up some paint for me. I'm like, holy crap. Now, of course, we didn't connect till after I had already like, painted the door jams black and, and the firewall black just to keep moving. But um, that'll be very good because there's some spots that need touch up on the car. We know some spots where the paint had gotten scratched and chipped from being in Larry's garage all those years and boxes and things being set on it. So definitely putting that to use. The cans are really good. I've already been kind of thinking about bagging the firewall and spraying uh, at least the sides of it red. So that might be really good because we may back, go back and do that once the car's a little further along. But there's a t-shirt. Yeah, my arm's blocking it. <laughs> Killer. Federated Auto Parts, the best memories are made on the road. Oh, Super awesome. cool. And you got one for Mike in here as well. So yep. it's on camera, so Mike has to get the shirt even though I want them both. So thank you so much for that, really appreciate it. That's awesome. Put the paint on the shelf. We have the t-shirts. And we'll uh, send you a little care package, thanks. Back, thanks. Ooh, this one's next, this one's next. <laughs> <laughs> this is why she's here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I knew it was snacks because when things come from Canada, you have to write on it. So I saw this when I picked it up. Yeah. Oh, there's your... Right, I'll open it for you. This is from Richard H. And he is in Mission, British Columbia. That's in Canada. <laughs> in case you didn't know. 
Some people don't. Ooh. Hello, Matt, Kate, Mike, Andrew, and Moon. I'm from a smallish town in British Columbia, Canada called Mission. It's about 150 miles due north of Seattle, just inside oh. the Canadian border. Oh, so west coast. My old vehicle is a stock 39 Ford half ton pickup. Well, almost stock. It has an 8BA motor, which I'm retrofitted back to the old 39 drive, Diving Bell distributor. Like, like your Pagoda Coupe, it works well. Love the show. Enjoy the cheesy and the read. Richard. P.S. I also included a photo of Henry, my 39 pickup, which I've owned since the early 70s. It's a driver and, and not a showpiece. So Holy! I know, mother load. Oh, I was, we're gonna be swimming in cheesies. Oh my god, oh. alright, we need to cut it off. So Moon's eating his bone that we got from somebody earlier and has no interest in normal treats, so he will get those, thank you. Oh my god. That's... I could fill a bathtub with <laughs> cheesies. Hot Rod Memories, remembering... Oh cool, so this is... You were reading it while I was trying to get Moon, but... Some early... British Columbia hot rodding history, which is awesome. I love this stuff. Really cool. So thank you for that. I'm going to read up on that. I'm really excited about that because I don't think I've ever seen that book before. He has returned. Are you ready now? Mm, yeah, yum, yum, good. Yum. Give you another one. You're going to get chubby because of all the snacks you're getting too. Say thank you. Moon, speak. Speak. Speak? No? Okay. He says thank you. <laughs> Last two. This one was surprisingly lighter than I was anticipating. <laughs> so this one is from... We don't know. What? We don't know. It's got something over it. Oh, Iron Trap Garage. Oh. It says Easy Pour. I'm not quite sure. Maybe they repurposed. So how did it show up? I don't know. Oh, it's got a label here. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. What's this? Oh, this is from. Oh, no maybe they don't drop ship to us. No note. Somebody sent us some easy pour. Oh yeah, because I was I was complaining about the uh, the the new style gas cans. <laughs> so this comes with the the normal caps that you can put on spouts, and I can totally use these because all my stupid gas cans have that like modern safety thing that ends up pouring gas all over you. So now we have these. So thank you. I don't know who sent those. Yeah, to we us. have no note. So thank you. If it was you, if reach was, out to reach out to us, please. Because we'd like to send you some stickers. If it was somebody at Easy Pour. Let us know because we'd like to send you some stickers. So thank you. Appreciate it. We'll put these right to use. New improved gasket. All right, last one. Woo! Da -da -da -da. This comes from Joe K in Juliet, Illinois. Now, now that we've been doing mail call and he's got treats, Moon now thinks every mail call box is his because is his. he thinks every package that comes to our house is a bark box. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Moon, sponsor me, bark box. Last box has something that came originally from Rock Auto. Mm. Here we are, Matt. I really enjoy your videos. Include, enclose, enclose are a bunch of stickers and samples I have collected from Car Show goodie bags. Ooh. Is that, is that coffee? That yeah. is coffee! Mystic Monk Coffee. Well, we'll put that to use. I thought you could use them in your care packages and send, send out as a thank you to your fans. Also, have you often mentioned how much you, Mike, and Kate enjoy a cup of coffee? I also enclose some packs of coffee for my favorite roaster. Awesome. We love coffee. Love it. Oh, sweet. Little stuff. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll start dropping this stuff in. We appreciate that. We do that all the time, too. Drop in free stuff in our packages. All kinds of stuff. Protecting wipes. Okay, I saw the goodie bag stuff. You must do a lot of car shows. Awesome. So thank you for that. We're going to send you some of our stickers back, right? Yep. And maybe some dog slobber, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, so that is it. Thank you to Joe for sending us that. We'll send you a little care package back your way as a thank you. And we will definitely be uh, distributing some of this stuff to people that uh, both order things and also for that big giveaway we're going to do at the end of July. So if you guys have been watching the mail call and you enjoy it, drop us a comment down below what you, what's your favorite thing that we've gotten in the mail call. We've gotten some really incredible stuff, some of those um, our wood pieces that we got last time were like incredible. Oh, yeah. um, some of that stuff's been awesome and we really thank you guys. But uh, we're gonna pick one comment from this video down below and we're gonna pick a winner and we're gonna do, actually I'm sorry, two winners. We're gonna pick two comments and two winners and we're gonna split up all the stuff we have uh, that we've kind of set aside for you guys and we're gonna give it away for free. We'll, we'll handle shipping, everything, anywhere in the world. We'll send it right out to you. So thank you guys for watching and spreading the love. We really appreciate it. Catch, Catch you later. later.